Hi, I'm Jamie Peaver. I've been a live sound technician for over 30 years, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to use the Ear Trumpet Labs microphones live. All right, first thing, let's open the box. Inside the box is this card. This card actually talks about how to use your Ear Trumpet Labs microphone and gives its specifications. First thing you'll notice about the microphone is it has two distinct sides. The front side that has the silver screws and the back side that has the brass fittings. The front side is the business side of the microphone. That's the side that you face towards whatever you're micing. The clip for the microphone is a regular Shure mic clip, which would fit a normal SM58 Shure microphone. So it's easy to replace. This microphone also comes with a European adapter for European mic stands. Now we'll put it on the stand. Remember that the silver screws face towards what you're micing, and the brass screws face towards the audience. You'll notice the microphone pivots in different ways. It pivots on the mount, up and down, and it can also pivot up and down on the clip. If you were just micing a guitar or another instrument, you'll want the microphone closer to the guitar or other instrument that you're micing, so you can pick up all the frequencies and all the tones from the guitar. If you were trying to mic both voice and guitar, the microphone should be part way in between your mouth and the guitar. If you are getting too much guitar and not enough voice, you can pivot the microphone up in order to pick up the voice better. Or you can point the mic down to get more guitar. When you're positioning your mic on the stage, you don't want it too close to the PA system. One of the things that's going to affect how much gain you get out of your microphone is feedback. There are three different ways to get rid of feedback. The first thing you can do to stop feedback is to move the microphone. Maybe it needs to go back a little bit or over a little bit, and that will affect your feedback frequencies. If you're still having trouble with feedback, then pull out the frequencies that are feeding back out of your equalizer. And the last thing you can do to get rid of feedback is to turn the gain down on the microphone. When you're using the microphone live, also it's better to get tighter to the microphone than be further away from it. You can put the microphone in the monitor, but the closer you are to the monitor, the more likely it will feed back. I've been using these microphones live for years. I hope this information helps you enjoy these microphones as much as I do. Thank you for listening.